Hey guys, it's Kishi, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can spray paint your own hoverboard with these super easy steps. Alright, so for the first step of spray painting your hoverboard is you're going to want to get some wipes and wipe down the hoverboard nice and thoroughly so there's no dirt or nothing on the hoverboard. So you're going to want to get some tape, some scotch tape or whatever, some scissors and a knife maybe to help you cut down the... Uh, the small parts of the tape because now what you're going to want to do is tape all the electronic parts, the lights, the wheels, everything so nothing can be damaged. And as you can see here, I'm, I'm trying to clean, the, I'm trying to get the small parts of the tape nice so the hoverboard turns up clean and nothing will be, be damaged. This took me about an hour to do, so it's probably one of the longest steps. The next step is to get some primer. Um, I got this white primer and it worked really well so you first shake it up um, so it doesn't mess anything up and you just start going ham <laughs> you, you want to get everything um, all the little small holes and stuff so when you apply the paint it'll uh, stick nice and good so for pretty much the last step of this whole process is to spray paint your hoverboard the color you desired I chose gold, I think it looks really cool, and since uh, the pads and everything are black, it has a nice uh, mix. And this, um, you really want to be careful and take your time and not try to uh, mess anything up and not like do double layers extremely fast, or else uh, you're going to get some marks on the hoverboard itself with uh, drips of paint. And um, that's it for that step. Now I went over the gold layer a few times just to make sure I got everything, so I suggest you guys do that too. Now here are some pictures of after the tape after the paint um, job, not taking off the tape yet, just letting make sure it dries. I let it dry for a full 24 hours, so um, yeah. it's done uh, drying. It's been a full 24 hours, so. Now this surprisingly took me a pretty long time, especially taking off all the tape from the wheels. So I suggest you guys have a lot of time on your hands when you do this. This took me, I think, an hour to just take off all the tape. Anyway guys, if you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below any more video ideas. Thanks for watching guys, see ya.